So we're underway then, as David Diamante was saying, on the road to unification and a clipping right hand is the first scoring punch of the contest from Mary McGee. And this is a huge opportunity to add the IBF title to the WBC crown that she already has jabbed that changed into a left hook and then follows up with a right hand. Mary McGee top. in the past has been susceptible to an overhand right yeah. which inside the first 45 seconds. Good right hand key though as Cameron. Good right hand for Cameron. Important punch, such a pivotal punch for Cameron here. Clicks McGee on the way into the right hand and again, not allowing McGee the opportunity to find that counter in Women's World Championship boxing. Giving her the advantage. She's having a step out of range. She's able to maneuver off like this. And she's also had the close one. Good right hand and good exchange here. And a push. Good work by Cameron at the end of the round there. All based around, as Andy was saying, good footwork, but also behind a solid left jab. And good use of the feet from Cameron. Finding it a puzzle as to how to cut off the ring space, how to close down the space between herself and Cameron. So when she gets up on a toes and jabs, she seems to have success without often she to counter. Like this. Again, good probing work with the left hand by Cameron. Then for a couple of successes for McGee in that latest exchange. Cameron's just out working her. She's being busy out. She's catching the eye. And all the time working that left hand, even when it's not landing it. And being made to avoid it now as they open up again. The pace and the pattern of the fight. A straight right. And McGee this time can't respond. Another jab from Cameron. Seeing how Mark Tibbs and Jimmy Tibbs have such prowess in the corner that likewise Jamie Moore growing with each successive fight. This to Cameron, who works away on the inside. Though gets caught once again here. She passes the tail up on the ropes here, and McGee's trying to respond. Toe to toe on the ropes just above us here at ringside, as Cameron fancies herself here in a battle of strength and a battle of power. Good body welcome, Cameron. from Cameron there, landing cleanly, although again McGee did have her successes. It's the better accuracy from Cameron, the faster feet. And the better work from Cameron, long and medium range, but just a sense that Sometimes she has to get up and jab on her toes, and then sometimes she just stands around like this. McGee, this deep, eight round, piling on the pressure here, right hand and then moves away out of range once again. And now faces her chances up close. She's had the better of the exchanges throughout the contest. And over the top, and a second one from Cameron. And at times, she can't miss the American, but bravely McGee fights back once again. Unbelievable action here, then. Time and time again, and every step in her professional career is part of the design to erase the memory in her career. And this could be a very special night as McGee tries to fire back. Left hook gets through though from Cameron, who had covered up well in the inside, only on the elbows and the gloves of Cameron. Just look at the desire here, Mike. Like both of these women are champions, and they're fighting like champions with the belt around her waist, Mary McGee, and she wants to leave rounds of effort through to the world final belt. But Chantel Cameron, for most of the contest, has measured here, and now she tries to finish in grandstand style. But this time, just shy of the distance, it's landed so often during the contest. A warm embrace, a warm ovation all around this O2 arena. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And now the unified WBC, IBF, and Ring Magazine 